Hey, Anila here from Habit Aware, and I'm in my car, and I'm here today to talk about something very special, near and dear to my heart, motion fingerprint. I'm really excited about this because it's a whole new algorithm built from the ground up by Kirk, our CTO, and motion fingerprint is a whole new way of gesture detection. It's designed to really get to the unwanted behavior, increase those true detections, and to mitigate those false alarms so you should not get as many as you may have been. So why am I in my car? Well, as you may have guessed it, driving was probably the n number one grievance of false alarms. And I don't know if you can hear that, but I feel your pain. So, this is actually my stylish bracelet, which is trained for version 1 algorithm. That's what you all have right now. And this, my black sporty, is trained for motion fingerprint. And I'm going to stay quiet for a second. I hope you can hear that. That is V1 vibrating to let me know I'm driving. On my other hand, motion fingerprint. So again, trained for eyebrows, eyelashes to notify me when I kind of go to that pull area. Now the cool thing about motion fingerprint and John, our hardware engineer, is putting together a tutorial specific to help you retrain. So he'll go into this stuff in more detail, but the cool thing about motion fingerprint is that it allows you to actually fine tune Keen using the two details that we are using for our calculations, motion and position. So just as with V1, looking for that motion, that micro motion, whether it's the nail biting or the feeling around for those imperfections when you're, you know, skin picking. Um, that, that micro motion at a local area. It's also looking for the position of the bracelet in relation to the ground. So what we've done with version two is we actually let you tune both of those individually. Instead of that um, detection settings one through six, you can actually now tweak just the motion to make it super tight so it's looking for very, very specific what you've trained for, or, you know, you can go really wide and it'll look for any kind of more gross motion in there that you're, you're doing, as well as body position. So this means, you know, I trained sitting up straight at my desk, going off, great. But I also sit leaning back, and okay, it's not going off. So that means I can bump up the body position so that it goes off for me. All right, now will it pass the driving test? Okay, so I'm back upright. I'm continuing my fake drive in beautiful Minneapolis and no buzzing. And there you have motion fingerprint built from the ground up because we heard you. We knew it was working for so many of you, but we also knew that there were some issues and we wanted to make sure that we fixed them. So please be sure to watch John's tutorials, how to tips to make sure that um, you know how to use the new detection settings for motion fingerprint. And if you need any help, we are happy to do a video call to make sure that you are set up for success with Keen. Wishing you love and keen awareness. Bye.